Welcome, seekers of wisdom and self-improvement. In the vast expanse of human knowledge, there exist certain pearls of wisdom that resound with a timeless truth. One such pearl is the profound quote, Indeed, Allah will not change the condition of a people until they change what is within themselves. This is not merely a religious sentiment, but a universal principle that underlines the fundamental essence of self-improvement and personal growth. It emphasizes the power each of us holds within ourselves, the power to change, to evolve, to better our circumstances. Personal responsibility is at the heart of this wisdom, for it is only when we dare to turn inwards, scrutinize our own selves, and make the necessary changes that we can expect our outer world to transform. So let's journey together into the depths of this truth. In the coming moments, we will delve deep into the profound wisdom of this quote. This quote, at its core, emphasizes personal responsibility. It's an age-old wisdom that rings true across the ages, cultures, and contexts. It's about taking ownership of our lives, our actions, our thoughts, and ultimately our destiny. Personal responsibility is the cornerstone of self-improvement. It's about acknowledging that we have the power to shape our lives and our experiences. It's about understanding that we hold the reins and that we can guide our journey in the direction we want to go. It's about realizing that we are not passive spectators in the theater of life, but active participants who can influence the plot, the characters and the outcome. This concept is more than just a philosophical idea. It's a practical tool that can help us become better versions of ourselves. It can help us cultivate the qualities we admire, discard the habits we dislike, and create the life we aspire to have. But how does it do that? By emphasizing the importance of internal change, by reminding us that change starts from within, by teaching us that if we want to see a different world outside, we need to create a different world inside. Our external circumstances are often a reflection of our internal state. Our outer world mirrors our inner world. If we want to change our reality, we must first change our mentality. The beauty of this concept is that it puts us in the driver's seat. It empowers us. It tells us that we are not at the mercy of external forces, but have the power to influence them. It tells us that we are not victims of our circumstances, but architects of our destiny. It tells us that we are not defined by our past, but can shape our future. It's a powerful message of hope, resilience and empowerment. It's a call to action, a call to change, a call to growth. It's a reminder that we have the power to transform our lives, not by changing the world around us, but by changing the world within us. To see a change in our external circumstances, we must first initiate the change within ourselves. This isn't just a quote, it's a roadmap to self-improvement, a blueprint for personal growth and a guide to a better life. The power of self-change is immense. Consider this for a moment. We often find ourselves in circumstances that we wish to alter, yet we tend to look outside, blaming circumstances, blaming others, blaming fate. But what if the true power to change resides not outside, but within us? Self-change is the process of transforming oneself from within. It is about recognizing our own shortcomings, our own patterns of thought and behavior that may be hindering our growth and consciously deciding to alter them. Imagine a caterpillar. It lives a simple life crawling on leaves, unaware of the potential it carries within. But then it cocoons itself, undergoes a profound internal transformation and emerges as a butterfly capable of soaring the skies. This is the power of self-change. It is not just about improving our circumstances, but about realizing our true potential. Consider the story of Thomas Edison. Born into a modest family and having faced numerous setbacks in his early life, the odds were stacked against him. But Edison understood the power of self-change. He transformed his mindset, embraced failure as a stepping stone towards success, and went on to become one of the most prolific inventors in history changing the world with his inventions. Or take the example of Mahatma Gandhi. He was an ordinary man, but he chose to change himself, to embody the principles of truth and non-violence so deeply that he became a beacon of hope and inspiration for millions. His internal transformation led to a massive external impact, the liberation of India. These stories remind us that our external circumstances are often a reflection of our internal states. 
If we want to see change in our lives, we need to initiate that change from within. We need to transform our mindsets, our habits, our attitudes. The power of self-change is not merely about altering our present circumstances, it is about shaping our future. It is about becoming the best versions of ourselves, about unlocking our true potential. After all, it is our internal transformations that ultimately shape our external realities. Self-improvement is a journey, not a destination. These words resonate with the very essence of our existence. As we navigate the waters of life, we constantly encounter opportunities for growth, learning and enhancement. It is a never-ending voyage that takes us to new realms of understanding, self-awareness and personal development. Take a moment to consider the beauty of a tree. It starts as a tiny seed, gradually sprouting into a sapling, then blossoming into a magnificent entity. Does it stop growing once it reaches a certain height? No, it doesn't. It continues to expand, to flourish, nurturing itself with the nutrients from the soil and the sunlight. Its growth is a constant process, just like our journey of self-improvement. Just as the tree, we too are ever-evolving organisms, consistently learning, growing and changing. The quest for self-improvement is not about reaching a specific destination or achieving a predetermined goal. Rather, it is about embracing the process of continual growth, about nurturing our minds and souls with knowledge, wisdom and experiences. This journey is not always smooth. It's filled with trials and tribulations, with moments of triumph and defeat. But every stumble, every failure is a lesson learned, a stepping stone on the path of self-improvement. It's these moments that shape us, mold us and encourage us to become better versions of ourselves. Remember, every sunrise brings a new day, a fresh start. Each dawn is an invitation to learn something new, to make a positive change, to push ourselves a little bit further. It's an opportunity to leave behind the shortcomings of yesterday and to embrace the possibilities of today. So, let us strive to make the most of each day to foster a growth mindset and to embark on this exciting journey of self-improvement. Let's strive to be like the tree, continuously growing, continuously evolving, continuously reaching for the sky. And remember, every day we have the opportunity to become better versions of ourselves. The first step towards change is often the hardest. It's like standing on the edge of a precipice looking down into the unknown. The fear of what lies ahead can be paralyzing. We might feel stuck, unsure of which way to go or how to begin. But remember, every journey, every transformation begins with that initial step, that first decision to move forward. Change is not a destination, but a process. It's not a one-time event, but a journey that unfolds over time. And that journey starts with a single step, a decision to change what is within ourselves. It's about acknowledging our shortcomings, facing our fears and daring to step outside our comfort zones. When we make the decision to change, it doesn't mean we have to have all the answers right away. It's about starting somewhere, taking that first step, no matter how small or insignificant it may seem. Every step counts. Every step brings us closer to the person we aspire to be. Taking the first step can be scary, but it's also empowering. It's a declaration of our intent to grow, to evolve, to become better. It's a testament to our resilience, our courage and our determination. It's a signal to the world and to ourselves that we're ready for a change. So if you're standing on the precipice of change, don't let fear hold you back. Embrace the uncertainty. Take that leap of faith. Start with one step, then another and another. Keep moving forward even when the path is steep and the journey is hard. Keep your eyes on the horizon and your feet firmly on the path. And remember, it's okay to stumble. It's okay to fall. What matters is that we pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off and keep going. Because the journey of self-improvement is not about perfection. It's about progress, about becoming a little better each day. So as you stand on the precipice of change, remember this. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Take that step, start your journey and never look back. In conclusion, the wisdom of this quote is universal and timeless. It encapsulates the truth that our external circumstances are a reflection of our internal state. We've journeyed through understanding the essence of this powerful quote and its relevance in our lives. We've explored the transformative power of self-change and how it can revolutionize our existence. 
We've also delved into the practical steps to kickstart this journey of self-improvement. The takeaway from this discourse is the recognition of personal responsibility in shaping our destiny. We have the power to alter our circumstances, but it begins with an inward change. This is not a one-time event, but a continuous process of growth and evolution. Let's embody this wisdom and strive towards being better versions of ourselves. It is through this internal transformation that we can effect real change in our world. Let's remember, to change our world, we must first change ourselves. Thank you for joining us on this journey of self-improvement and personal growth.